No, I know, but like, is it going to be online? Will I be able to see this somewhere? Yeah, it'll be on RFTT this spring, hopefully. Oh, I see. Cancel this okay, so this start. wasn't live. No, 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 no. Okay. Hey, Rob, one more time. Just tell me what's behind you. Uh, this is uh, the Eiffel Tower that is being engulfed by, I don't know, Godzilla? Oh, my God. Have fun with that one, man. Thanks, Rob. God bless you, brother. Thanks. Bye. In today's tractor video, I'm going to be planting my first ever field of corn. All right, let's work. It's the 2020 crop year. My name is Matthew Sliger. That's right, we're out in California planting rice by air. Welcome to the rice fields. Ride with me from planting to harvest. California rice, my friends. You're watching Corn Farming TV. That's right, folks. Look all around me. This grassy knoll is soon to be our first field of corn. And why am I going to start growing corn? Well, Michael Bloomberg said it was easy. You just dig a hole, put the seed in the ground, cover it, water it, and out comes corn. So I thought, why not try it? Also, I realized that if I can diversify in growing corn, then YouTube is going to help out my videos. So Millennial Farmer, Cole the Corn Star, look out. I'm coming for you, boys. I'm planting corn, that's right. So what we have in front of us here is a Case IH 245 Magnum. It's a 2010 model. It has about 250 horsepower and we'll be inside just shortly using this tillage disc. Before we pop inside, let me show you the tillage disc. 18 footer, drawbar, nice beautiful blades. You can see I've made a pass already. Look at these guys. Real nice and smooth. Wheels are good. This, because it's short, we don't use it in our rice operation, so it's brand new to our corn operation, and it's yellow like corn. You can see it's just about as wide as the tractor. So that's why we don't use it in our rice operation because we're just need to cover more ground. So yeah, our corn fields are gonna start small this year. Anyway, let me move back over beyond the tractor and the disc to show you this rice field. This rice field is the last field that we need to burn the weeds back on. You can see this levee here see that super weedy so we want to burn this but it's the westernmost field on the ranch so we want to really protect burning this weeds these weeds hey neighbor because we don't want to catch the neighbor's road on fire so what I'm doing is I am disking up this grassy knoll right here to essentially create a fire break. Coincidentally, this grassy knoll could be our cornfield. Did I say could? I mean will be. We're corn farming now. So I thought since the weather's nice and warm, we're pretty much all caught up with our tractors and implements, preparing them for the rice season that is, for planting rice. I thought, hey, why not come out here, get a little practice in this tractor with this disc and make some circles. So Oh, I should also mention Pops warmed it up for me already. He was down up north, down up north. He was up north, disking up there. I got some cool shots of that. So why don't you check that out while I make my way over to the tractor.
I am just going to drop the disc where it is right now. Nice. And I'll just start off in a low gear. Let me get, I got it in, uh, no, I got it in seventh. Let's bring it down just to second gear. Okay, and then we'll just take off slow speed. All right, and away we go. We are disking, folks. How you like the sound of that? So you can see the disc is doing a pretty good job behind me. I'm not trying to finesse this or anything. You'll also notice that I'm going to be turning to my left. Anytime you turn left with the disc, with that pitch as it is, the disc blades don't penetrate the soil, so I'll have to come back and basically disc up the corners where I was turning. On the straightaway, you can see it's doing just fine. I'm in sixth gear, let me bump it up a bit. That's it. What I think I'll do is I'll just mount the GoPro in various different spots of this tractor and allow you just to ride along with me. How about that? Outside, inside, sounds good? Welcome back aboard. As you can see, we're doing our last little sliver here, last two passes, and very shortly I will show you what I was talking about earlier in terms of how we do our corners or how we do our turns. So as you can see off into the distance, that green patch that goes to the corner, that's where I made my left turns. You can also see it over here. But because I can turn left with the disc down, I'm just going to head to that corner out there and cover up all this green. It's going straight to the corner. I've done everything around, but I just need to do this corner right in here. Slam on my left brake, make sure I don't run my back tires into the disc, but I'm trying to make it as tight as possible. Come back on the corner. And what I'm going to do is slow down, raise my disc up, put it into reverse, and attempt. trying to do it straight but I'm also trying to record I wouldn't be this sloppy if it was a real rice field not to say that there's anything wrong with doing cornfields like this but I would just uh, you know be doing a little bit better job I'm gonna tuck it right into that corner there lower the disc down can you see that throw it into drive Throttle down to, I don't know, second gear. Trying to get, of course, that remaining bit of weeds and also my tire tracks from backing up to make it look as professional as possible. So I'll show you what we got. So there you got it. I got a little strip of weeds back there, but I don't think it's that big a deal. And now I can go to this corner. What did you think about that lesson on doing your corners? We'll pop out of the tractor here when we're all done and take a look at the good work that I've been doing. But as you can see, everything is worked up out here compared to what it was before. Anywho, just give me a moment to, to bust this out. You know, driving in the tractor reminds me, it's going to be podcast season. Does anyone have any good 
podcast to recommend. I, of course, listen to Fieldwork. I listen to the Shark Farmer podcast with Rob Sharkey. In fact, I've been a guest on that. I will link it in the description if you want to listen to it while you're driving tractors or driving truck or whatever you do, cleaning your house, doing dishes. Um, also, an exciting announcement for Rob Sharkey. He is going to be doing Shark Farmer TV on RFD TV, and I had the opportunity of being a guest on that show, which will air sometime this spring. In fact, when I was on the show, I recorded a little bit of our conversation and made this pretty sweet promo for him. So let me know what you think. Hey, Rob, one more time. Just tell me what's behind you. Uh, this is uh, the Eiffel Tower that is being engulfed by, I don't know, Godzilla? Oh, my God. Oh, have fun with that one, man. Thanks, Rob. God bless you, brother. Thanks. Bye. Hope you guys liked that. That was very impromptu. Rob didn't even know that I did it. And down in the comments section, let me know which podcasts y'all be listening to. I'm going to finish up this field. We'll pop out of the tractor, and I'll show you what our work looks like. All right. All right. We did it. Let's take a look at our work. 245 is rumbling. Pretty great. What do you think? Pretty excellent soil for my first cornfield. Well, even if this doesn't become a cornfield, we did make an excellent fire break so that we can burn the rest of the levees that are on this field and not have to worry about our neighbors to the west. But uh, yeah, let me know what variety of corn I should plant uh, and where I can sell it and how I can harvest it and all that stuff. I know you all know, I know you're all fans of corn farming videos, so hey, thanks for watching this episode of Corn Farming TV. I'm gonna bring the 245 back to the shop, pin up the disc. We're pretty much done using it. We're gonna use that yellow disc, as I mentioned in the previous episode of Rice Farming TV, to fill in the drains. The drains that took the winter water off of our fields. But we've got rain on the forecast, so no sense of taking the drains out now because we want these fields dry come April 1st so we can start planting some rice and stop fooling around. Anyway, yeah, let me know what podcast you listen to. Let me know how I should raise this crop of corn and just let me know you all are doing real well. Appreciate you watching. Take care. Now you see, this is what I'm used to. This is a rice field. Nice and dry. You can see the soil is cracked, no standing water. We could start chiseling right now. We could start opening the ground, but with these rains on the forecast, no sense of opening them up, taking out the drains, which I'm about to cross over right now, because we want the field sealed over not to saturate them with rainwater, and we want the drains in place to carry any future rainwater off. Last two years, we got a lot of rain in May and April. So we're just gonna keep cool, park the tractors, wait for the rain, and wait for the rain to pass, wait for the rain to dry, and then we'll start doing some tractor work. Sounds good to you? Yeah, I know, I know. You're tired of me just fooling around. Anyway, signing out for real this time. Peace.